has been stirring up some controversy for totally different reasons. It's illegal, this particular procedure in the U.S., but it hasn't stopped some people from going elsewhere to get it done. Our growing obsession with perfection. Now there's a procedure to permanently change the color of your eye. Eye implants were initially developed to treat people with medical abnormalities. And now, iris implants are changing how you look at cosmetic surgery, literally. You can see my eyes are two different colors. But the catch, the surgery is illegal in the U.S. and could make you blind. Is perfection worth the price? And joining us now is Chris. He traveled all the way to Brazil to have this procedure done. And of course, Chris, the obvious question is, is why? I was 50 years old and I kind of was in a mood. I just really wanted to do something crazy. And on top of that, you know, I had two different color eyes and uh, kind of always bothered me. Some people said it was a gift, it looked great, but I always wanted to have the same color, but I couldn't wear uh, iris, I couldn't wear contact lenses because of the having a dark brown eye and a uh, green hazel eye. The so Chris, I'm most, m many people when they have a midlife crisis of sorts, as you described, yeah. maybe they buy a yeah. sports car or, um, <laughs> but, and clearly <laughs> you seem like an informed, intelligent individual. I'm sure you were made aware of what the risks of this procedure are, including blindness. Is that acceptable to you? Well, no, of course it, it, it wasn't acceptable. I guess sometimes when you kind of see something that says, hey, here's an issue that I have, although in this case cosmetic, and there is something that could solve it, and the information that you're getting from the people that do it <coughs> seems that this is not as bad as it, it seems. So you even acknowledge you, 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 you now, tend in to want to hear what you want to hear. In retrospect, you acknowledge, okay, maybe this oh, wasn't quite the slam absolutely. dunk. Absolutely. Well, yeah, yeah. well uh, yeah. Yeah. And he, he did, led into you this saying I was crazy. Didn't, did you go blind for a, a, a few days after the procedure? Yeah, after the procedure, about three days, all I could see was like white light like you see on a TV that has was, no cable. It's not, not all that freaking sweet you when everyone's like, oh, your eyes look great. Sorry you can't see it for yourself. Yeah. You, you know. What was that well, like? Well, at least you can listen to the good effect. music in Brazil. Well, I'm so glad you're here because I, I think it's important because this is really big in the news recently. A very popular reality mm -hmm. star changed the color yeah. of her eyes and mm -hmm. she went with this gray, yep. see-through oh, kind wow. of color. Oh, okay. And so I think for people who wear colored contacts every day, and there's a whole contingency mm -hmm. of them. They sell them for some reason. I think there's this draw to permanently not have to do that anymore. But I have to ask you, when you went blind after the procedure, did you immediately think, maybe I should get these removed? I think the issue was a matter of expectations. And what they said is, okay, you're on vacation there in about 24, 48 hours, it'll all clear up and you'll all be good. So the expectations and what really happened were a complete dichotomy. You know, an example of medical tourism that we've talked about where people go abroad to, to d get a procedure done for different reasons, either it's not legal to do it here in the United States or to save money, or they've been convinced that it's a cutting edge procedure and you need to travel somewhere to do it. So, you know, that being said, when you walked into this, this clinic, this center, to have your eyes surgically altered i mean were you comfortable with the setting well no it was in a mall on a weekend oh. that was closed with no air conditioning this was in a mall in a mall kind of like more like your and place you get eyeglasses let's look at linda's reaction here linda oh my gosh. linda this whole time you're like husband you're okay. crazy why are you doing this right so i thought his his two color eyes you know having two different color eyes I thought it was really attractive and really sexy. Mm -hmm. Yes. You know? Mm -hmm. David um, Bowie. Y you know, yeah, I thought it was great. <laughs> yeah, but Chris, if she I'm says sorry. it's sexy, that's the Trump card. You gotta leave it. Did you walk into that clinic that's in I the went mall with, with him. no air condition? Did it you was say closed. Honey? And yeah. the whole mall was closed, but we went in. And um, one of the things that I noticed was that they went barefoot in the operating room. What? They the were heck? barefoot in the operating room. <laughs> And the doctor uh, told Chris that when we, when he gets out of there to go in the ocean, put as much salt oh. water oh. in his eyes that water. as he can. I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't miss this anymore because this is obvious. This is You're hearing the story, a lot of red flags. I want Dr. Brian Boxer Walker to weigh in. Whoa. Obviously, there are a lot of red flags that go beyond this particular <laughs> procedure here. Um, wow. The list is extensive, wow. but right? Holy cow. So freaky, I had freaky. I no but, idea about all the other stuff. Yeah. But, but why, why is this not done here in the U.S.? 
It's not done in the United <laughs> States because it's not FDA approved. Now that doesn't mean for any given procedure or an implant, good or bad, it just means a company hasn't gone down that path yet, which is an expensive and very time consuming path. Now regarding the technology itself of iris colored implants for this type of purpose, I mean, I have to say new technology is always exciting and promising, and it's great to have innovators in our field who are helping to do these types of things. With that being said, I mean, it does seem like from some reports of other surgeons that there has been some success with this type of technology, but there's certainly been some complications that have been reported. We all know from any surgical procedure, complications are a part of that. Um, now also, new technology does get refined and tweaked over time. And even with this type of iris implant, we've seen that type of tweaking because the original implant was made in Panama. And it didn't have any areas to allow fluid, for example, to flow outside the eye. So we had high pressure and glaucoma reports. So the cautionary tale here is just because something isn't FDA approved doesn't mean that right. it's necessarily dangerous. The answer to that is we don't know and then, of course, you couple that with red flags. I point. think what's so important is for people to think about any elective procedure. And mm. just because something's cosmetic, by the way, doesn't mean that someone shouldn't pursue options mm -hmm. in, in getting it addressed. Mm -hmm. But this is the way people should think about it. What are the risks? What are the benefits? And what are the options and alternatives? And when you're talking about something like this, as Dr. Rachel said, there's a great option and alternative, colored contact lenses with very low risk of blindness. You have two eyes, there's a very low margin for injury here in terms of that type of risk. And I think when you think about things on that risk benefit option level, the answer well, usually Chris, is pretty clearly clear. it seemed like we were ganging up on you, but, but Chris, you highlight something, which is when you really want something done, you know, you wanna believe it'll work.